Hello, and welcome back to another ring tool. Today we're playing Skatey, and we're doing Skatey Mirror, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I think this matchup is purely won just based on who wins the early game, because you just start snowballing. So, don't give up first blood, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Um, it also comes down to a little bit of knowing what your opponent's going to build. I've played against this guy previously, so I think he rushes, I think he rushes Breastplate, so I want to try to get ahead by rushing Aussie. Because if we go Aussie second, like I like I normally just go Aussie second, but if, but in this situation specifically, if we go Aussie second, then uh, then we'll have a power spike over him. I guess he'll be more defensive in the fact, and, and boxing him would be less, would be less potential to box him. But in that same vein, uh, we just want to use Cold to try to push back the wave and force him into an awkward situation. Because if we outclear him first as the same god, then we are happy. And I can't believe Call just did that to me. Why didn't Call have to do that to me? Yeah, you dog. We're gonna go this corner. Go pick this up. I think he comes over here. Yeah, he does come over here to contest. It's a really bad contest, actually. But since he makes the contest, now we have to run. So, I missed one because I was skating on ice like an absolute idiot. Why didn't Call Why didn't they just trade? Why did that? Why did that happen exactly? Uh, he has more HP, so we just want to walk out here really quick. No problem. We're just going to back up for our speed. Uh, like I was talking about before, it's important that we just start stacking up and snowballing. And uh, by going to get our speed before him, then we'll start snowballing before him. We're at the same vein where we've, we've got the same point now. We're pretty much just even. I know we'll lose a little bit of the gold, but I think it's more important to get this XP rolling. He's making the rotate to his minis, which doesn't make any sense. You'd think you'd want to make the rotate to my minis, because uh, they're farther away, but whatever. Now we just get to do our minis for free. I'm kind of thinking about backing, because his alt will shred us. We have the exact same alt, obviously, but uh, the amount of HP we have just kind of means that we get destroyed. I just saw Calder, by the way. Hello, Calder, how you doing? Uh, so he hits six and he has all. I don't think he kills us. He could burn our shell if he wanted to, but how greedy is it to go do these minis? Oh, I have to pop a health pot. I think we're just even gonna think about doing this. There's a chance we get caught here, but he's dead. Nope, 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 nope. I think we're dead. I think I play this incredibly poor. Actually, he doesn't have one, so I can just let Calder take these tower shots while I walk away. Nice. And he's not going to follow me through tower, so... Excuse me, Calder just took six tower shots. What was that crap? Uh, we have to back here, and we have to surrender him anyway, which is really stupid and makes us really sad. But, uh, Calder took an extra tower shot while he was walking around smacking us in the mouth. Thank goodness he does, like, no damage this early into the game. Ah, uh, we know he's making the red rotate, but we're totally fine with that. Because of how poor we played that first fight, we just have to give it up anyway. Secure all this farm that we can. I think it's super important you max one here before he does, because I think he's prioritizing upgrading his Calder, which is a little strange. And though because of last game, he had he had the HP of Calder finished super early, like like the HP game. And I also don't know if there's much value in getting that HP game. I think there's more value in upgrading the three than there is upgrading Calder. What are the chances this mini's up? Zero, probably. I don't know if I need to pop HP pot. I guess if I want to contest this. Our Calder has more HP than his. Excuse me, I've said Calder on this guy like four times. What? Why didn't... What? Why did Calder pretend like he didn't want to go over there 150 times? What was that crap? He should have went over there no problem. I don't know why he's trying to fight me here. He has buffs that are up, he knows he has buffs that are up, so fighting me here makes absolutely no sense. Dude, for a second there, I thought he was level 10. I was gonna freak out that we were so far behind. Lamau. Now he's making the rotate to his blue. It's a late rotate, so because he's making that late rotate, we can go finish out tier 2 Aussie here. Because the mini wave won't be pressured too fast. Did I just hear him come back? I did too. What? How did he clear blue so fast? Did he just not go for his blue? He walked over there, saw I wasn't on it, and went back to wave. That would make sense. Because, like, I wasn't even done clearing speed by the time 
He walked out of the blue, like he did it, so. We're up 10 stacks, very nice. We know he's on those, he's on the minis there. Just keep him over there, nice, nice, nice. By keeping him over there, we get a pressure out wave. Yeah, we missed one stack there, but it's just because we didn't have fast enough autos, so that's fine. I think it's more than likely that he tries it back here, so I want to get a bull demon. I want to get ahead. Shay, that's what we're gonna do. Especially when we're playing Skatey, or you're playing like you're below the Piney God. You probably walk over here as Sylvanas and smoke bull demon. Those things a joke, but yeah, because of the fact we're playing Skatey, also you just get an insane amount of burst. It's kind of like playing Anubis, bro. You just smoke bull demon. Uh, if I make the long rotate, we won't get caught, so we'll be okay. Just long rotate behind blue, we'll be a okay. He didn't even see us come over. He literally just... I thought he was going to contest us, so I for the long rotate, but he didn't care. Back here, finish Aussie, and uh, we'll be ahead, I think, because we'll be up HP, and we'll be up healing. I think finishing this Aussie as early as we have is super duper important. Oh, and he's got health child, so he's not even going to be able to finish best plate on back. Right, because I was just able to finish Aussie, and we're down... Oh, no, 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 because if we were even in gold, we wouldn't have been able to. Guess what? This is not a winning fight for you, and you have no towers, so I'm coming to smoke you. Alright. Free Calder. Easy. I have Aussie passive. We just want to keep the pressure going. We have enough healing that we can sustain this. Be fine. Bull Demon doesn't fall for 30 seconds. It's important to get that timer looked at. If he tries to step up at all, we murder him. So, it's nice. Hi. We can send Colder on tower. Just get a little bit extra damage going. He shouldn't. Yeah, he doesn't breastplate finish, so we want to continue this fight. Bull Demon doesn't come up for six, so we're A okay still. And tower will fall here because the fact that we grabbed that early Bull Demon. And there's full wave coming in the tower, so. See you later, alligator. Towers down, like I said before, it's super important that we snowball early here, so we just take as much farm away as we can. Uh, getting that early bull demon allowed us to start generating this pressure, and we're just going to keep the pressure going. Because now we get to go tier 2 best plate, and we're far enough we're far enough ahead that we can just start stacking up these item differentials. Uh, I honestly didn't expect him to come test my blue, so... Should be able to walk out. Oh, honestly, that was such a mistake. I tried to greet out my, uh, my, uh, what the hell is it called? I tried to greet out my shell because of the fact I didn't think he had, I didn't think that blood auto was going to kill me. Because all he could do was fit in that last auto. Uh, but now we've just fell behind drastically. Because tower also falls here. So that was a really big mistake. I should have just sold and said, nah, who cares. Um, because I've just allowed him to have comeback material because I valued my shell too much. Yeah, that was a clear mistake, I think. He shouldn't stick around though, he knows I'm coming. He knew I had, like, if I didn't make the stop at speed, I would have been here much quicker. So why did he stick around? Nobody knows. We're up an item, I want to force this fight. I want to force this fight as much as possible here. We're up an item, so we want to continue this fight. This isn't a winning fight for him. We should be able to one him and kill him here, giving him no escape. Nice. And now we just make the bull demon rotate and we're very happy. Uh, leveraging the items that were up is super important. And recognizing it is the reason that you win mirrors. Mirrors? I'm going to say mirrors. Like, you know, a mirror. Uh, lol. But yeah, recognizing when you have these items, utilization, and when you have these advantages is extremely important in these matchups. Because you're obviously the same god. So any small advantage you can get and then pressing that advantage is incredibly important. Because of the fact we realize, oh yeah, woohoo, we're up an item up half an item, then we were able to take that fight with confidence and win the fight. And then because of that, it translated into bull demon. Uh, we can just say Calder. Calder should finish up the rest of those minions, and I should be able to contest this red. And he has to worry about many ways, so. <sighs> Alright. I think I'm just going to let Tower fall here. I think it's more important that I finish up this breastplate and go... And I go... I'm going to go Brawlers here, I think. He also went Brawlers, so... Not, not going directly for tower and coming to contest me doesn't make any sense to me right there. But uh, like I said before, we want to press. We want to. 
we want to press the advantage when we have it, and we don't want to just allow him to press his advantage when he. So we want to back here. Like having this two thousand gold on us is useless. Except for when he just lets me kill him. I will take this every time. Made it way too easy just to smoke him. Excuse me, I had to attack that dog like five times. So now we have alt advantage. You're like, yes, I understand. It, for for that alt advantage, we we had to. Uh, we had to give up our building, but we gained an alt advantage in that same same vein. Alright, we're at 200 gold. Hopefully we can get a level advantage here by taking this speed. Is it going to spawn? Yeah, it's spawning. Okay. I was going to walk away there, but... It spawned. Uh, we want to get this because it has attack speed. The the CDR isn't as, as, an impo isn't as important. I know he's on my blue. I don't have abilities up to contest it. Just hopefully throw three to the wall and that does enough. So we're up one third of an item. So yes, we have an advantage and we have alt advantage. So I really need to start this fight. Except for I don't know where he went. He knows he shouldn't fight me here, so he's just gonna run away. Which is fine. Not going off, so he just lets this fight be so free, by the way. Except for when Colder just smacks you in the mouth, dude. Stupid goddamn dog. Uh, I'm trying to leverage my relics here to force him to come fight us when he shouldn't. Because we have Aussie in both relics. If I get him out of tower, we murder him. Just don't know if I can get him out of tower. He's backing. Nice. He backed in time that he gave us a little play. If he backed a second later, we would have got a lot less damage off. Yeah, we can just walk away with three, be A-OK. -okay. We know both demons spawning and we know he's coming this way. It's kind of greedy for him though to come this way. Yeah, we see it, yeah. Bull demon's not up just yet. I know it's about to spawn, but I think I can walk over because it has an animation where it walks out of the doors. And I just beat buffs, so. Honestly though, if he does this before I can contest, that'd be sad. But we obviously have to back in that situation. Yeah, he's doing it. We just force him to run, and if we force it back, then we just get his big phoenix. So, uh, I'm gonna send dog after him. It'll make him think I'm coming. Yeah, it'll force him to run away. Nice. It's a little bit of leverage of Calder there, just having Calder. If we just force him to stay on Phoenix, then him getting bold won't matter. So let's continuously keep this going. I know he hasn't gone Aussie yet, but I'm going Brawler specifically because I think he's going to go Aussie at some point. I think Aussie is too important. Yeah, you didn't you didn't stick me under tower there, bud. Just run away. And if this guy's not going to leave tower, then I'm just going to start taking farm. Uh, it's super awkward for him just not to constantly not take buffs. But whatever. I'm just life stealing off this. It's the main objective at this point. Uh, we can win here. Need to be able to two him. Ah, he's gonna get out. Damn, it's too bad. Thought we could catch him around that corner right there, but obviously we didn't. Uh, we're trying to take away as much farm as we can, so we're just gonna go contest this blue. <sighs> and we've pretty much used the whole timer of his bull demons, so we're A-OK -okay at this point. We're going X-E. It's a little awkward to go X-E in this slot. He's got four items. He's got four, four and a half. Why is he down that item? Is it because... I don't know. What is making him down that item? Because I kind of expected him to be at the exact same point as us. Is it just because he hasn't backed? I don't know. He's on our blue, I see, but it's cleared before we can go over there and contest. Skadi is too good to clear. Fish back. No buffs are up. We just traded blues. Uh, there's a thought process that we could have contested that, but I don't think it would have mattered. So. We'll just let that finish. Get XC. Maybe I'll go Kins last item. Even though I don't think Kins is specifically good here. And we'll go Obo last, right? Obo is good against Katie. And I'll start triggering that. One, two, three. 
We're up half an item. It is Novobo finished. So, I want to start pushing up this fight. I know relics are now, so we need to be a little careful, but we'll be okay. I don't know why to use alt right there. Oh, he's lucky I backstepped into that. He burned his shell, though. And we'll force out a back. We're using three for the movement speed. You're dead. That was really poorly played. What the heck was that? Calder would just keep healing off those minions and it'll tank. Yeah, it's kind of OP that you can just leverage that like that. And now we go get Bull Demon here. As soon as it's done, let's be done one sec. There we go. So we'll make our return over to Bull Demon because we have Bossy. This guy specifically lost his game because of the fact he didn't buy Bossy. Being able to leverage life still over him when he didn't have any was super important. I guess I should say he has lost the game. He has lost the game yet. But he's losing this game because of the fact that he didn't want to build Aussie. It's just it's so important in these hunter mirrors because you just like just having life still when the other person doesn't have life still is incredibly important. Uh is that breastplate upgrade better here? Yeah. I don't think the XC upgrade is all that good against squishy targets. It's obviously really good against tankier targets. But I think Breastplate is just better. Uh, now we want to leverage our Bull Demon to try to end this game. So either we're just going to start pressuring out his life total, or we're going to start pressuring out his Titan's life total. Uh, one, of, one way or the other, some sort of life total is going down. It's either mine, his Titan's, or his. <laughs> I don't think there's any any chance that he gets down to my Phoenix, especially with full, full mini wave behind me. We'll just pick this up quick. Should be no contest from him. He's gonna be worried about mini wave coming through. Yeah. It's gonna be harder for his call to heal because they're fire minions instead of normal minions. Uh, taking this fight right here is really just poor by him. He's dead. That was really bad. I don't know why he took that fight. He should have never took that fight right there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed being like a comic subscribe. And if you want to reach masters like this, just play skate every game. Skate is absolutely.